Yo, my neighbor mows their lawn every day, and I swear to God, it's out of hand. Like, I, I get it, you want to have a nice lawn, but dude, you're just being a jerk when you do it every day. What up, Jam Fam? So, uh, I want to address this right off the top. Yes, I did get my hair cut. Um, it's getting hot out, and I can't deal with the long hair during the summer, so I decided to get it all cut off right now. I did cut it a little too short, but whatever it is, what it is, it'll grow back. But we're not talking about my new haircut. We're talking about Bling today. Now, originally, I was going to make a video going over what I think are the best skins in Brawl Stars, but I decided against that because that's a subjective thing, and all that's going to do is open people up to disagreeing with me, and that's fine. Obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinions on different skins, but I don't think that's like a constructive video to make and I don't think everyone really cares about that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about what I think is actually the best way to spend your bling in general, not just like specifically buy this skin, buy this skin, buy these pins, that type of stuff. Um, so basically it's the idea that what I'm going to do with my bling and why I'm thinking that way so I can pass that thought process on to you guys. And obviously you can do what you want with your bling. It's your account. It's the things that you want to buy, but this is just my suggestions and why I'm thinking that way. All right, guys. So here we are over in Brawl Stars and I'm going to apologize. My capture card has to be a little bit off center. So there's going to be that black bar right at the bottom of the screen. But if I center my capture card, you're not going to be able to see the bling prices as we go through the catalog. So that's why. But we're going to jump into the catalog right now. And uh, first thing we're gonna start with is sprays. Now, in my opinion, I don't really like sprays. I think they're kind of dumb. I don't really use them that much in a match. I don't think they really add a ton of value to an account. So I would never personally buy sprays for bling. Now, the reason why I would recommend you guys don't either is because they're just expensive. So like, if you look at like a brawler specific, specific spray, then uh, it's 750 bling. And if you look at a general use spray, it's going to be a thousand bling. Those are pretty expensive, especially when we go through the rest of the catalog. You could use that bling towards something that's more productive, something like a pin or an actual skin. I would rather recommend buying over just a spray. So uh, like I said, I would never recommend you guys spend your bling on these sprays. All right, next up, we got pins. Now, pins are going to come in three different available rarities to you guys. And the first thing is going to be uh, common pins. Now, common pins, I 100% recommend buying. Uh, first off, they're very cheap. They're only 375 bling each. So for the whole set, it's going to run you just shy of 1200 bling. So I would recommend picking up all three common pins uh, for pretty much every brawler. And the other thing is that they just add a lot of emotes to your actual like matches. So like, you know, you could throw up the, the laugh, you could throw up the sad, you could throw up the angry, and that conveys how you're feeling to your teammates pretty uh, effectively. You know, you can let them know when you're mad, you can like laugh when you make a good play, stuff like that. So I think for the value that you're getting out of common pins, 100% would recommend buying all three common pins for pretty much every brawler, um, if that's the way you wanna go. Next up, we got rare pins. Now, in my opinion, rare pins are pretty expensive. They're getting up there, 750 for each rare pin, and there's two of them. So in my opinion, I think thumbs up is way better than clap. I would recommend for the brawlers you like, buy the thumbs up. I don't like the clap pin, so I wouldn't recommend buying those. If you like it, obviously buy it. It's your bling, spend it the way you want. Like I said, they're getting a little expensive and you can use that bling towards other things further down in the catalog that we're gonna talk about. So, um, you know, like I said, if you like the brawler, it's fine to pick up rare, uh, rare pins, but other than that, I would skip over these. And then we got epic pins. Now, epic pins are very expensive. They're 1500 bling for each epic pin and i think every brawler has three don't quote me on that but i think every brawler has three so to get all three epic pins it would be 4500 bling but even just buying one specific epic pin it's still very expensive 1500 bling that's either a rare skin or the whole set of common pins and i would not recommend buying these if you're trying to fill out your pin roster i would rather just buy the three common pins and I would skip over these. While they are nice, I'm not trying to say they're not, like heart and sweat are very fun to use and then special is just like kind of cool. I wouldn't recommend spending the bling. I would rather either just get a skin because this is halfway to a rare. Uh, uh, super rare skins are 2750, which this is halfway to, or just buy all three common pins for the price of one epic pin and just move on with your day. Like, I just feel like it's just too expensive to buy these epic pins personally. Now we're gonna ta start talking about actual skins. And first things first, we're gonna talk about rare skins. Now, personally, I think rare skins are a little bit of a ripoff. They aren't super expensive. They're a thousand bling. It's a little pricey, but they're a skin. So I'm gonna be a little more lenient on the price there. But to me, I don't like rare skins because a lot of them are just reskins, like recolors of a specific brawler. So you look at like Bandit Shelly, that's just a recolor. You look at like Golden Barley, that's just a recolor. Ladybug B, that's just a recolor. Outlaw Colt, 
uh, Iris Terra. Linebacker Bulls at different outfits, so you know I'll give that one a little bit of a pass, even though I don't really like it. Pandanita, that's a recolor. So a lot of these are not really worth it, in my opinion, because they're just recolors of the Brawler. So there are a couple that are okay. Um, like, I don't really like Sam the Teddy, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I thought it was a lion skin for a second. Um, I don't really like Sam the Teddy, but it's okay because it's actually a different outfit for the Brawler. Um, I do like Patrol RT. I paid gems for this uh, last season. Um, uh, G-Force Janet, that's okay. Dark Chester, even though that's technically a recolor, I do like the way it looks. Um, so for me, if it's just a recolor of a brawler, I would just save up the bling for a super rare skin. Um, but if it's a different outfit, so G-Force Janet's probably my best example of this, where it actually looks like a nice new outfit for the brawler, that's okay to pick up and it's a cheaper skin. So I would recommend buying something more like that rather than just a recolor of this of the brawler. All right, next up, we got rare skins. Now, uh, rare skins are my favorite rarity of skins in the entire game. I think they give you the most bang for your buck when you're trying to pick them up for bling. And honestly, they give you everything that you really look for in a skin. You get a new outfit for your brawler. Most of them come with animations and most of them come with shot textures nowadays. So I feel like super rares are the best value for skins in the entire game. Uh, so just to run through a couple examples. So obviously you got like Captain Crow. That's a really good skin. You got Dino Leon. That's got everything you look for in a skin. It's got a texture, it's got shot patterns, it's got animation. I think that's really good. Um, you got something like uh, High Score Griff. Those are all really good skins. So like I could go on and on about all the skins that actually like check the boxes that you're looking for. Uh, there are a couple duds here and there, something like Hog Rider Carl. Wouldn't recommend picking that one up for bling. Um, probably any of these Primo skins probably don't really add a ton of value for you. Um, one other example I would say is probably like Shark Leon. It doesn't actually have a shot animation on it or anything like that. It doesn't have any animations like win loss animations. So like I said, a couple of them are duds, but like I said, for the most part, most of these skins are going to check the boxes of what you're looking for in skins. And it's at the right price point. Like I said, 2750, it's kind of that sweet spot between the epic and the rare skins. And it's like perfect value in my opinion. So if a brawler has a super rare skin, then you should definitely consider picking these up before you go and look at the epic skins or just spend your bling blindly on the rare skins. Consider the super rares first, in my opinion. All right, so now we're coming up towards the end here and we're gonna go over epic skins. Now, obviously epic skins are gonna check all the boxes you look for in a skin. They're gonna have the textures, they're gonna have the animations, they're gonna have the reskin of the brawler, all that fun stuff. So. I, it's, I'm not going to say that they're not worth spending 5k bling on because obviously that would be wrong, but I'm going to say that they are very expensive and I would recommend definitely picking up the super rares before you get into that because you look at a, a skin that I bought for bling, Coral Bell, I don't think it was 100% worth it. Um, I just spent it because I was like near the cap. I was at like 6,900 bling, so I just needed to dump off my bling quickly and I do like this skin. It's great, but when you look at Bell skins, one second, let me cut. So when you look at Bell's skins, you look at Coral Bell, which is 5,000 bling, look at this skin, and then you jump over to Ivy Bell, it literally does all the same stuff. It has the animations, it has shot patterns, it has uh, a new skin for the brawler, and it's half the price. So it's like, maybe I shouldn't have bought Coral Bell, maybe I should have just got a the super rare skin instead. So like that's like a prime example that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, about epic skins not quite being worth exactly the 5,000 bling all the time. But then there's a brawler like Crow, which, um, you know, like some people are gonna love Crow Bones. They're gonna think it's way better than Captain Crow. And that's totally fine. Like I said, skins are subjective. So to you, if you're that type of person, maybe the brawler has an epic skin that it just totally outshines the super rare skin in your opinion. So that's totally fine to buy it. But I would only really recommend buying an epic skin if it's on your favorite brawler and you think it definitely outclasses the super rare because there's a lot of skins that are very close when you compare them from brawler to brawler uh let me pull up another example uh tara perfect example so misfortune tara 5k 5k bling but i wouldn't actually argue that it's better than um street ninja tara because like they do all the same things and they both look very good so it's like why would i spend half the, why would I spend twice the amount of bling when I can just get Street Ninja Terra instead? All right, so just to go back to what I said, if a brawler has an epic skin that you think totally outclasses their super rare skin and it's on your favorite brawler, then you're totally justified in spending the 5K bling on that skin. But 
if it's not on your favorite brawler and you don't think it's that much better than the super rare skin, I would just stick with the super rare skin because they both check all the same boxes and you're saving half of the price of the blink. So in my opinion, epic skins are very good, but you should always consider the super rare first, unless you'd like totally consider it to outclass the super rare skin, then pick up the epic skin. So I'm just realizing that I forgot to talk about profile pictures. Now here's the thing, profile pictures don't really matter. So honestly, if you want a profile picture, you can get it, 750 bling, but it doesn't really matter. Get it, if you like it, <laughs> honestly, if you like it, get it. If not, whatever. I, I don't really have an opinion on profile pictures. All right, so right at the top of the outro, I wanna say this right away. It's your bling. Spend it the way you guys want. Buy the things you want. Make it your account. And that's the whole point of this change is to customize your account and to make it feel like your Brawl Stars account rather than just a Brawl Stars account, right? So that's the important thing to remember. And like I said, this video isn't here to tell you what to buy specifically. It's just to tell you guys my thought process behind what I'm spending my bling on and how I think that bling should be valued. Like I said, I think my favorite thing to spend bling on is the super rare skins because I think those add the most bang for your buck in terms of like skins and adding texture and like just your overall enjoyment of the game and then on top of that i think the next thing that you should probably buy is the common pins because i think those add the second most value to your account but also like i said epic skins are okay to buy but they're very expensive so if you really like an epic skin over super rare options that's 100 justified in buying same thing goes for a rare if you want to save the bling so you can pick up a, a pin or whatever then buy the rare skin instead of the super rare. It's it's your account. Anyway, like I said, this is just my thought process behind spending bling. Let me know what you guys uh, are thinking. Let me know what you guys have bought with your bling. Like I said, I spent all my bling right now on that uh, bell skin, Coral Bell. And I don't know if it was 100% worth it, but like I said, I just wanted to dump my bling off real quick. I didn't want to think too far into it. So I picked up Coral Bell. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you consider subscribing as well. But anyway, like I said, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.